Hey, I'm John, and today we're going to figure out how to ask really good interview questions, take good notes, and understand our observations. So here we have what we're going to observe during our question phase, right, during our interview process, and then we're going to find some quotes. We're going to start to write down quotes that our interview says, and we're going to understand what they are, and we're going to build some really good notes that include the job steps a person does, the emotional and social aspects, needs, and the circumstances around it. Now, if you don't understand the job steps, we're going to take a quick detour. We're going to zoom out here, and we're just going to come in right over to our dashboard and our consumption jobs, right? Every business has these consumption jobs from acquisition and purchase all the way through disposal. So what we're trying to understand is how this person, right, that we're talking to, in the company, what job performer, what are they doing? What job are they doing? What's the processes? What are the needs? What, what's the why? And what are the circumstances around this? So all these things tie into together, but asking good interview questions is what's going to make this easier to understand, reduce confusion, and improve, improve the optimization of you, your team, and the project. So let's dive into this, right? Whenever you start to document, begin each thing with a verb and omit any reference to a technology or a solution. We're not asking people about a technology or a solution. We want to understand their knowledge, their skills, and their abilities because they understand systems and processes. So let's figure out how interpretations, these job steps, all of this ties together. So we see that we have some lines. We're going to follow these. So when you're doing your documents for your notes and you're talking about your observations, right? Start to record aspects with feel, right? Or where somebody is using something like they don't want to be perceived as, or they want to avoid being perceived as something. These are great components for their emotional concerns on your journey in the interview process. And now we need to listen for their answers on the why. So when you ask the why, stop thinking, start listening. You cannot think and listen at the same time. So switch your listening ears to on and start to hear what they're really saying. Listen for a customer or a client that is doing a workaround. Uh, listen to the components that show, you know, the, the direction of change that you're trying to do, improve, but there's lots of things and you want to listen to the answer. Write that down in your documentation as an observation in your notes and tie that to the needs. So then we want to have the circumstances, right? And whenever that interview says when, this is your contextual knowledge, right? These are the circumstances. This is the context. Now, I showed you earlier about separating all of these components, right, to job performers. And now we know who does what job, how they do it, why they do it, the circumstances around it. And we've only asked a few questions. And we really connected with this person. We made them feel good. So follow again to dive into the interview questions to really ask good questions for your technical teams to understand how these processes all meld together. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Let me know what you thought in the comments.